Mina, Ohio Yuzaimash, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Psalm 61, looking at verse 2, specifically the end of verse 2, but I'll read the whole thing. From the end of the earth I will cry to you, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Now this is another Psalm of David, you look at the, at the title, Psalm 61 is a Psalm of David. And the point that I want to focus on is the lead me to the rock that is higher than I. As king, David was the highest in Israel. There was no one higher than him. There was no one who had more power, more authority, probably not anyone much richer than him, because kings pretty much gathered all the best resources of themselves back in the day. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. David acknowledged at his very best, at his very best, that he needed someone higher than him that he couldn't do it on his own. Not only could he not do it on his own, he couldn't do it on his own with all of the resources that were afforded to him, with all the knowledge and all the wisdom of the counselors that were at his side. He could not do it. He needed God. He needed the Lord. He wasn't enough. His money, his horses, his chariots, his wise men, his wives, his children, his palace. Well, I'll say he didn't, I'll, well, he did kind of have a palace. Uh, not the huge opulent thing Solomon had, but he, he had a place to live in the city of David. Probably very nice, since he was the king, but it wasn't enough. He couldn't just rely on all the things he had down here, and he had a strong body as well, a body that had killed thousands, and if the um, song that the maidens of Israel sang is to be believed, tens of thousands. And that prowess, and that might, and that strength for battle was not enough. He needed the Lord. He needed someone higher than himself. So no matter where you are, how much money you have, what cult country you're from, what culture you're from, no matter how many languages you know, how many degrees you have behind your name, no matter how great your spouse is, how many children you have, and how well behaved they are, your social setting, your circumstances, your home, your privileges, whatever those may be, whatever authority and position in society you may hold, do not depend on those things alone. Depend on the Lord. He is the absolute trust. He's the thing that won't fade away with time, that won't disappear suddenly, that won't leave you completely stranded and abandoned right in the middle of the storm. He's the one you want. He's the one you need. So please keep that in mind, not just during the bad times. Of course, during the bad times, we tend to look up. Keep in mind during the good times, too, so when the bad times come, you already have that relationship with him, and you're already talking to him. He already knows what's going on, but he likes you to stay in touch. So stay in touch with him. Let him know what's happening, not just during the bad times, but let him know what's happening during the good times. It's just a, a good thank you, Lord. This is Life is good right now. He appreciates that. He respects that. So please uh, keep him in mind. And when the bad times come, don't just lean on everything you have down here. Lean on him and trust in him and he'll get you through it. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.